Now you may be wondering what is progressive overload, how it can help you, its benefits and ultimately when you should avoid it. So in this video I'll cover everything you need to know plus stay to the end of the video as I'll also include some examples about how you can include it into your own fitness journey. Let's get straight to the point. Hi, I'm Steve, qualified personal trainer from Stag Fitness. And for workouts and nutrition programs, please check the link down below. Let's start with the basics. Progressive overload is the principle of gradually increasing the demands you place on your own muscles over time. It's a strategy that pushes your limits to drive growth. For instance, think of your first day at the gym, lifting a modest weight or going for your first run. Over time, you progressively challenge your body by increasing weight repetitions or intensity to keep pushing your boundaries. Imagine you're new to weightlifting and you're just starting out in the gym. You've probably felt a little lost and unsure what to do. Progressive overload is a great place to start and it will get you used to lifting weights more safely as you build your own progress over time. For example, whatever muscle group you want to work out, Let's say it's bicep curls in this instance. A simple starting point would be to do 10 reps at your chosen weight for a total of three sets. And if you were wondering what weight to start with, then it's gonna take some trial and error. But ultimately, you wanna choose a weight where you start to fatigue around two to three reps before the total amount. So if 10 reps in a set is your goal, then those last couple of reps should be more of a struggle to complete without compromising form. Pick a weight that is comfortable, then as you advance over the coming weeks, you can either start to increase the weight, increase the sets you do, or a bit of both as your body adapts. It's about controlled, gradual growth and adaptation, ensuring a safe and effective fitness journey to achieve maximum results. And if you do have any questions along the way, please ask away in the comments below. Now here are the four main benefits of progressive overload, especially if you're new to working out. Progressive overload is your ticket to a stronger, more sculpted physique. When you constantly increase the challenge, your muscles adapt by growing larger and denser. Consider someone new to strength training, performing squats with body weight only. Over time, they introduce a barbell with light weights, which gradually increases the load. The result, bigger and more defined leg muscles, ensuring steady, sustainable muscle development, which in turn brings me on to my next point, increased strength. Imagine setting a goal of doing your first pull-up. As you incorporate progressive overload, you'll find yourself achieving not just one pull-up, but multiple, as we're building on your strength over time. A beginner aiming to do one pull-up eventually reaches five, then 10, and this is done through constant progression. Then using progressive overload, this will ultimately prevent injury, which is point number three, as it offers a safe path, as it allows you to start with more manageable weights and proper form, then you can gradually build on your progress. As we've all seen it before, when people go straight into the gym and they attempt to lift heavy weights and then just ultimately end up injuring themselves. Progressive overload allows you to protect yourself while gradually increasing the challenge over time while maintaining good form. Now building a strong body isn't just about physical transformation. It's also about your mental strength. Setting, achieving and exceeding fitness goals provides a sense of accomplishment and motivation. Say you're new to running, set a goal to run your first mile. Yes, progressive overload can be applied to other things other than just weightlifting. It allows you to set a goal while gradually achieving it over time. The satisfaction and self-assurance gained along the way is invaluable. There's nothing worse than trying to push yourself too hard and beyond your means, and then you end up injuring yourself, resetting all your progress. So who benefits most from progressive overload, and who doesn't? One is newcomers to the gym. If you're just beginning your fitness journey, progressive overload offers a structured and safe approach to building muscle enhancing your strength and staying motivated. Two, people with specific goals. If your goal is to see noticeable progress in your muscle growth and strength, progressive overload is your ally. It's a time-tested method to achieving these results. And then three, anyone seeking structure. Progressive overload provides structure to your workouts. It helps you set goals, track progress, and stay motivated by constantly reaching new milestones. Now, while progressive overload is a fantastic tool, it may not be the best approach in all circumstances. For example, if you're already an advanced athlete or bodybuilder, you may have a different strategies and goals that prioritize maintaining or refining your physique rather than continual strength gains, injury or health concerns. For individuals with specific medical conditions or injuries, a more conservative approach to exercise may be necessary to prevent making existing issues even worse. 
And lastly, one of the biggest downsides of progressive overload is plateaus and burnouts. Some individuals may experience burnout or plateau when constantly pushing for heavier weights. It's essential to listen to your body and avoid overtraining. In conclusion, progressive overload is a powerful tool for newcomers to the gym who seek muscle growth, strength and a structured path to fitness success. Now if this video has helped you out, please consider subscribing for the latest fitness tech and advice. Thanks for watching.